let us now look at what a three dimensional plane is so uh, i'm still in the 3d geometry part where i'll be discussing uh, the various aspects the various ways in which i can rewrite the equation of this quantity called plane so uh, basically plane is nothing but this flat surface uh, which extends in all directions right so the uniqueness about a plane is or or the thing that determines what a plane is and what it's not is if i take two points on this plane for example if i take two points uh, so one of them being named as a and the other as b and if i form a line joining these two if i join them by a straight line this straight line must lie on the same surface as this a and b right so if the straight line that joins them lies on the same surface uh, as a and b then i can say that a this this line and this a and this b all of them you know they make up the same plane so this is valid for any two points so if i say pick up any point here here and somewhere here in the corner and if i again join them using this pink line and this these two points they must lie on the same surface so such a surface such a collection of points such a collection uh, of points they are basically your plane so they form your plane now there are various ways in which i can write the equation of this plane so let us see the various ways in which i can write the equation so there are there is equation of a plane in a normal form and then uh, there are two more cases so we will look at two to three cases where i can write the equation of a plane let's let's proceed to that let us now look at equation of the plane in normal form this this form of equation that we will see these we will we'll, we'll look at both vectorial and cartesian form of this equation but what you'll understand is this form of equation is called as normal form why is it called normal form because what's happening here is this plane of yours which extends in all direction it is at certain distance from this o which is your origin right so imagine imagine a uh, origin and the three dimensional space around it so in that space i've just put a plane which is at a distance small d from the origin right so what is small d small d is the distance from the origin let us look at a few more terms uh, in this diagram a few more things what is this n cap n cap is a unit vector which is perpendicular to your plane this is your plane and uh, 90 degree to this plane uh, i have taken a unit vector so n cap is a unit vector uh and uh, you already know the symbol for cap is basically uh used when uh, i'm talking about a unit vector so this is n cap uh, which is perpendicular to your plane there is this point p which is a general point so i've just taken a random point uh on the plane right what is n n is basically the foot of perpendicular so it is foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular of what from the origin when i drop a perpendicular on this plane then n cap is where it strikes is basically your n cap now with all this let us look at what we can do so as we can see this vector np and this vector on the vector which starts from on goes to n and the vector which starts from n and goes to p vector np and on are perpendicular to each other so their dot product has to be zero right now n key np can be written as r bar minus dn cap what is r bar minus dn cap so basically this this op bar uh, plus pn bar plus no bar should be equal to 0 right so op bar plus no bar should be equal to minus pn bar which is equals to np bar right if you take it on that side it will be np bar op bar is basically your r bar and what is it it is basically the position vector of a general point on this plane so that's r bar what is no bar no bar is a vector of magnitude d right that is the magnitude of this vector because the distance from here to the foot of perpendicular is basically d right so its magnitude is d and it is along n cap right it is along uh, the vector so n cap is basically pointing in this direction and the vector unit vector which points in this direction is n cap so magnitude into direction magnitude into direction is actually forming this vector no right so what i will do is this is r bar uh minus d n cap right because uh, your o n is basically in this direction so n o basically will be minus of that right so uh, this is 
r bar minus dn cap so this will be equal to your np bar right so np bar is directly substituted here in fact uh, just make this small change this n cap is not pointing upwards right this n cap is not pointing upwards it is just perpendicular to the plane and uh, you can think that it's pointing downwards right because uh, i'm saying that op i'm saying that on bar is equals to dn cap right so then on is pointing in this direction and if uh, because this is positive your on and n should point in the same direction right so your n cap will it point downward it uh, downward it won't it won't make a difference to the solution so r uh, r bar minus dn cap is what i'm using here and that dot dn is equal to 0 right now uh, simply what you will do is uh, you will send d on that side and you will make it 0 because d is not equal to 0 and then finally r bar dot n cap is equal to d is what you will get out of this expression now this is the final result in the vectorial form this is the final result in the vectorial form now it's a, it is an extremely important equation though it's though it looks small i would like uh, you to take a note of the terms here what is this r it's a general point it is a general point a general point on the uh, uh, plane right every r which satisfies this equation right so different different points will have different different r you will take their position vectors or and you will put here and if it satisfies this equation then i will say this point lies on the plane right that is the whole concept what is n cap here n cap is a unit vector perpendicular perpendicular to plane so it's perpendicular to plane and it's a unit vector right these are the, these are the two things you need to know about this n cap what is d d is the distance distance from origin distance of what distance of this plane distance of this plane perpendicular distance basically this distance from the origin right so remember if i have something like r bar dot n bar equal to d then this d won't be distance from origin because this is n bar here right you you need to have a n cap only if you have a n cap here then this d will represent distance from origin if it if it is n bar then what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to divide this with mod n bar right you are supposed to divide it with mod n bar then this n bar by n mod n bar will will finally be n cap so then this part then this this thing will be distance from origin right not just d alone so remember only if you have a n cap here then d will represent distance from the origin this was all about this particular thing in vector normal form now you understand why it's called normal form because i'm making a normal to the plane and then from there i'm i'm getting the equation so this is the vectorial form coming to the cartesian form so for cartesian form what you do is this general point p you take its coordinates as x y z right so you take its coordinates as x y z now next what you do is the coordinates are x y z so obviously by by now you you would know r bar can be written as x i plus y j plus z k right because the coordinates are x y z similarly n cap what i'm doing here is n cap i'm representing it as l i plus m j plus n k i'm writing n the entire n cap in the component form now now what i will do is i'll simply substitute these two i'll simply say substitute these two in this equation so r bar dot n cap was d r bar is this n cap is this right So when you substitute these two and you take the dot product, you will finally get this Cartesian form. So this is the Cartesian form now. This is the same same equation of the plane in the Cartesian form. So this was in vectorial form and this is in Cartesian form. Now, whenever you come across this equation, a x plus b y plus c z equal to d. Remember, this is the equation of a plane, right? This is the equation of a plane. Now, now you should be able to recognize this. Now, one more question. One more question that I would like to ask you is. What are A, B, C here? What are A, B, C? A, B, C are the DRs of the normal to the plane. So if I, if this is my plane A x plus B y plus C z equal to D, and I make a normal to this, then A, B, C will be A, B, C will be the DRs of this normal. It's very evident here. If you look at this equation, L x plus M y plus N z equal to D. What are L M N here? L M N. L M N are the uh basically the drs of the normal to the plane so you should be able to recognize that by now and if these abc if your a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1 then this d will represent distance from the origin right likewise here basically because this n cap is a unit vector right if it's a unit vector then l m n magnitude will be 1 right so l l square plus m square plus n square will be 1 so l square plus m square plus n square if it's 1 then i will say that this d is the distance from origin 
So here likewise, if you have ABC, if your a square plus b square plus c square equal to one, then this d will represent distance from the origin. If it's not equal to one, then what you're supposed to do is on both sides you are you're supposed to divide with a square plus b square plus c square. So here you will divide, and here also you will divide. And then what you will see say is this quantity d by a square plus b square plus c square root. This is the distance from the origin, and not just d alone. So I hope you have understood this concept. Let's move on to the next subtopic.